Today's question comes from Steve T, who writes, for those new shotgunners out there, what is the length of a shot string? That's a good question, Steve. And, you know, people have tried to answer that a lot of different ways over the years. People have shot at moving trains. People have dropped steel plates through the air and shot at them to let the shot string out along the plate as it falls. People have taken a lot of still photography of patterns. And then the most famous, you know, my predecessor at Field Stream, Bob Brister, took a station, his family station wagon, he had his wife drive, he put a boat trailer behind it with a 16 foot long roll of paper. And he would have Sandy drive at right angles to him at about 40 miles an hour and he'd shoot at the paper, see how far it's strung out. All of those have come up with some estimates, but now with high speed photography, we're getting much, much more accurate measurements of shot strings. I do have a couple of high speed clips we can show. Now both of these, are one is steel and one is tungsten, so they're not gonna be subject to deformation. This first one is Winchester's blind side. We've got two clips, one at 25 yards, the other at 35 yards. You see in the 35 yard clip, it takes 0 .0138 seconds between the time the first pellet and the last pellet hits the target. Now one of the myths you'll hear about shot strings, or one of the ideas, it's, is that if you have a long shot string, then a bird can fly into it. So if you miss too far in front, the bird will fly into the back half of the shot string. Maybe, but in the time it takes in 0 .0138 seconds, a duck flying 35 miles an hour at right angles will go about eight and a half inches, which means if he misses the first half of the shot string, he's got about four inches to go into the back half. So theoretically, yes. In the real world, no. Now, the second one we've got is Federal Heavyweight. This, again, is a tungsten iron pellet. It's very, very heavy, very dense, very, very hard, so that it won't deform at all. And as you can see it here, it's going by those, uh, the markers on the wall are one inch increments. And that shot string has been measured at about eight feet at 40 yards. So you won't see too many shot strings shorter than that one just because the pellets are so uniform. So the answer is, how long is a shot string? Anywhere from eight feet out to about 15 or 20 with really bad soft lead loads. Steve, that's a good question. Thank you very much. And here's your hat.